Today for the Cockatrice Weekly, I'm bringing green-white natural order monsters. I've played green-white monsters in the past. That's basically the idea of taking gruel monsters and swapping out red for white. Uh, you get fewer go fast options like Minsk and Boo, but you get a lot more disruptive pieces in Richard Peacekeeper, Archon of Ameria, even things like Aven Mind Sensor or Elite Spellbinder. And these are things, you know, little Thalia. These are things which really improve your combo matchup. You lose a little bit in the fair matchups, but you get a way, way better combo matchup, which Cruel Monsters has kind of a bad combo matchup, unless it hits exactly fast mana. Something that I have felt has been lacking in the past with Green White Monsters when I play it is that it doesn't really have a way to go way over the top. I've tried, you know, Mox Mox Soul Ring in the past, I've tried Crypt Mox Strip in the past, and even though uh, Crypt is really powerful and can lead to some really strong starts, when you draw it, you know, turn three or four or whatever, it really doesn't feel like a magic card anymore. It only feels like a magic card in your opening hand. And while it is undeniably strong, I think that because Green White Monsters is not nearly as fast as Cruel Monsters, it wants the game to drag out a little bit longer. And I just wanted sort of a nuclear option. I really like Strip Mine, though. I think Strip Mine is really strong in these aggro decks for disruption. Having basically a second copy of Wasteland is just really strong. So I figured I'd try putting in Natural Order. Uh, this made, you know, Mock Mox, Natural Order, Strip Mine, sort of the easy go-to. And it also let me sort of restrict it back down to two color. Usually in the past when I've played Green White Monsters, I've splashed black for Bowmasters, uh, Opposition Agent, and Grist. But it makes the mana base a little worse, so the mana base is nice and clean now. I've got eight basics, so I can play around. Um, it's not so much playing around Blood Moons or uh, you know, Price of Progress is so much as it's playing around Wastelands, and your mana doesn't hurt you. If you play against another Archon, your mana doesn't come in tapped. Um, it's just nice to have a lot of basics. Uh, what I'm using as my main natural order target is Torsten, Founder Benalia. It's hard castable, unlike Atrax in this deck. I mean, technically, I guess I could cast hard cast Atrax, but I don't really want to warp the mana base or rely on Rainbow Dorks for that. And Torsten honestly draws more cards than Atrax in this deck. The card types in this deck are really not varied. It's mostly creatures and lands, so Torsten can always, often draw, you know, five, six, even seven cards, which is insane, uh, beyond being just a 7-7. Seven, seven. And if it dies, you know, from like a short Edict or something, I get seven one ones, which is also pretty strong. It's obviously not as good at stabilizing as Atraxa, because Atraxa is a giant life flicking Vigilance body. But I think it's going to work well enough in this shell. And then obviously if I need to go against like Control or something, I could always just Natural Order into Thrun, because Thrun is really strong against uh, Control decks while being very easy to hard cast. So, yeah, I haven't really gotten a whole lot of reps with this particular version in. I, it's sort of experimental. I'm trying out some other things, like a little bit of a counters package with Ornery Tumblewag, Luminar Gasprit, uh, Bristly Bill, because your creatures are naturally a little bit smaller than uh, something like Green Red, but with the counters creatures and stuff like Gilwain and Elevir, you can sort of grow your creatures, all your little hate bears, um, into meaningful threats. So we'll see how it does today. Um, you know, I have high expectations, but also... You know, green white is one of those things where sometimes you'll win because you're doing something really powerful, but other times because you're trying to play fair magic, if you draw the wrong parts of your deck or, you know, your opponent has the answers, you're, you know, playing fair magic. You're not going to necessarily uh, out muscle your opponent. So let's see how it does today. Uh, this is green white natural order monsters. The Joe King Canadian Highlander Open is a competitive Canlander event happening on Saturday, June 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The event is designed with a low barrier to entry to encourage everyone to dip their toes into competitive Highlander. It only costs 10 US dollars to register, and the event allows 100% proxy decks. You don't need to own any cards, you just need paper proxies with official MTG art, a Discord account for rules and announcements, and a webcam and microphone for gameplay. First place gets a revised plateau with additional prize support determined by entry fees, and all information about the event, including proxy art policies, webcam specific rules, and more are available through the Discord server using the QR code in the bottom right corner. Sign up today using the Melee.gg link on screen. These links will also be available in the video description below. This is an exciting new step for the world of Canlander tournaments, and I will definitely see you there. I will take the play. <laughs> yep. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll, keep we'll those hands. Okay. Uh, well, 
Let's go Mox Emerald. <laughs> Seems good. City of Traders. He's ramping. That know the name of city. He's ramping. And I will pass. <laughs> that seems really good. Um, yeah, my turn one's not nearly as good. Uh, I'm gonna scrubland thought sees you. Okay. I only have one legal target. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> I will pass the turn. I don't know. I saw turn one three drop. I'm like, okay, this seems fun. Yeah, that seems fine, honestly. I don't blame you. Um, I, I will crack this map token online. Yeah? One colorless floating? Players. Or mirror. Oh, God. Uh, sure, that <laughs> seems fine. <laughs> Counter. Having uh, flashbacks to my CDH pod yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were three. There was a Boromir and two copies of Boromir. And yep. then three Draneth Magistrates. And I was like, well, I can't play the game. I'll go to combat, attack for yep. four, make a map. Ow. Uh, I will crack my other map, leave Boromir on top. Mm -hmm. And play this Temple Garden tat. Go ahead. Seems good. Mm. I'm not a fan of getting beat in the face, so I'll play a meticulous archive. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll chuck that mental mist up. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Tap keep draw. Uh... This prismatic vista fetch. Yep. Get the planes. Play the boar here now. Sadness. Then I will go to combat, attack for five, make a map. Yep. And pass. <laughs> well, this sucks. <laughs> Draw. Let's see. Play a seat. Should probably make sure to double check the way I tap things, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Talisman? Uh, yeah. I guess I'll pass. Uh, I guess I will crack this map token on my Sentinel again. Mm -hmm. Top cards to all players. Anointed Peacekeeper. Oh sure, God. that can stay on top. Sure, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will go to combat and attack yeah, for eight. It. Yeah, for nine. <laughs> yeah, my hand was... um. So, <laughs> this is what I drew. Yeah. I, I drew the t the TV and the, the remand, mm -hmm. and this was like my opener. Yeah. And then you kept casting three drops, and I was like, my portable hole. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sad. Alright, game two. Sure. I think I need to mulligan a bit more aggressively versus you. Yeah. One second, I've got people hanging yeah. here to your stuff. Uh -oh. No, you're fine. A judge, he's stalling. Are you keeping your seven? Uh, yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna mulligan. Okay. This hand has a lot of cool things in it, but not the right colors. So I guess we're going oh. five. 
Yeah, I don't know if I should be keeping this, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll keep this five. Alrighty, I will start us off. Yep. Uh, Scrubland top. Go. Okay. Um, let's go. Planes and pass. Not quite as explosive as last time. <laughs> no, thank God. <laughs> I'm very happy for this. Um, I'll pass. I'm uh being an order. Uh yeah, gonna gonna uh, respond to that one. Okay. I'm gonna give you a lose focus. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Figured you'd probably be something Yeah, that's like that. <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> Play a verdant. Uh, yes. Practice. I think I'm gonna go get a surveil lamp. You had two mana to go fetch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need three though. Um, actually, I think it's trot. Okay. So that I have my colors, I think. Um. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'll cast a trinket mage as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go find a key. Um, yeah. And then I'll pass. Uh, spend one else pass. Um, Vault of Whispers. Yeah. Uh, go combat swing. Yep. And I'll pass. Oh, I think Four. I griefed. Four mana. And you didn't play the key. Just like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, no. It, you probably should not be attempting to read me as you would normally. Because it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. You, you know, I don't know what the meta looks like. No, man, I was meant to cast it. Uh... I would not attempt to read me as a player normally would. It is good for runes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And I'll attack you for one as well. Ow. It's where you flash in something, I just. <laughs> uh, E-Tutor. Oh. Yep, that happens. Yep. Uh, well, we know what I'm grabbing. Mm hmm. Um, put that on top. Yep. On top. Draw. Well, um, key? Yeah, key, and then time vault. And then I lose. <laughs> Time vault. Uh, infinite turns. <laughs> I have infinite turns. Cool. Yep. Uh, so, like, I don't know how much removal is in the format. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah no, that's like, fair. So, like, I'm very scared to play out everything right away. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. I mean, especially because... Uh, I tell from my deck I'm not running blue, so your stuff is probably safer in hand than it is uh... on the field. Yeah, because I saw what is it? I saw green, white. I saw green and white, and those two are notorious for just eviscerating artifacts. I'm so... gonna keep my hand. <laughs> um, do I keep this? This is kind of scuffed. Yeah, I'll I'll try it. I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Then I go. It might be a mistake to keep both. I'm on the draw, so okay, yeah, we're fine. Uh, I will under city sewers and pass. Let me. Uh... Can I do this? Yeah, we'll leave that there. That's fine. Okay. Tap keep draw. Pedal grove. Pass. This one seems good against your deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I th I think I've lost. Uh, <laughs> hmm, that seems really good versus me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I'll play it Misty and crack it. Yep. Uh, <laughs> holy fuck, that seems really good versus <laughs> grab a punch. <laughs> uh, I'll cast this Mox Opal. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass. Rising canopy. Mm -hmm. uh, play this sentinel. Make a map. Um, oh, I'll, I'll play this. Now. I'll play the sentinel. I bet. I'm gonna counter yes. your sentinel. I do yes. not want to go beat downs. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I will attack you for two. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the beat downs are scary. So, oh, well, that um, that's a card. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I do this? Probably just like that. Okay. Oswald? Uh, yep. Uh, pass. You like my, uh, my one mana available? Uh... Yeah. Let's play this wild growth targeting my savannah. Yep. yep. Attach to savannah. Play this guy's cradle. Two, three, four. Undermine adventure. Oh, yeah. That's a good card. Initiative. Undercity. Go. First room. I will go get a planes, I guess. I mean, my mana's like fine. <laughs> yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, you're uh, not planes. struggling for sure. Uh, and then I will say go. Okay. I'll play an Island. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I will transmute model the mixture. You cannot use Tree of Tales. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> Sure. You are very correct. I cannot use Tree of Tales. Um, I'll get the card. Yeah. I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. I will uh, go to the forge. Mm -hmm. I will... Forge at the oof. I can attack with it this turn. I'll just forge onto the Undermount Adventurer. Sure. Um, drop a turn. Play the planes that you know about. <laughs> This canker bloom. Mmm, yeah, that seems really good. Yeah. Let's go. Three green and a white, so floating a green. Mm -hmm. Or a Tristani, three whispers. Jeez, okay. Uh, I will use my remaining mana to give my Underground Adventure a double strike. Yep. 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 Then I will go to combat and attack for 10 with the Undermount Adventure. <laughs> okay. Question is, do I think I can win on my turn? I don't. Um...
Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking. No, no, you're good. The collector oof canker bloom combo is a bit rough. To, <laughs> yeah. To figure out how to deal with, so. I think. Um, okay. I will take 10. Okay. Uh, I will pass. Making me do math? How dare you? <laughs> well, that is a card. Draw a balance or something? <laughs> that would be so good right now, but no. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm gonna swords your collector roof. Yep, that happens. Yeah. All right. Now, question is, can I get there? Or am I one man off? I might be one off. Um. So I also have to get rid of the fucking canker bloom. Yeah. I'm just going to cast a talisman. Gosh. Sure. Okay. Pass. Let's see if I can make the things happen. Untap, upkeep, go to the forge. Mm -hmm. Get live to you. Fuck, I forgot about that. <laughs> God damn it. Um, Are you sure you don't want to pick yourself? Yes, I, I am. I am sure. Oh, I tried. Guess we'll go to combat. Yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> Attack for everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, okay, so this is what I was looking at, right? Mm. Okay. So, so, like, basically, when I, when I was in the tank, this was my hand. Mm -hmm. Right, or I guess reshape wasn't there. So, it this was my hand when I was in the tank, and so I'm sitting here like, okay, I have to get rid of Collector Oof and then Canker Bloom. I can only do one at a time. Yeah. Uh... And so I was like, okay, if I do this, then maybe I can, like, Oswald my Mox Opal for key and then get TV, but then Canker Bloom's here. And it's like, I can't... Yeah. I can't send it all in the same turn, but... Yeah, you were a little crunched on white mana. Yeah. If I had one more white, I could have made it happen, but... Yeah. Good games, man. Good games. Yep, good games. I will take the play. Sounds good. Good luck. You as well. I am going to mulligan. Okay. I will keep my seven. This is... I, I can keep this. I just gotta figure out what I'm throwing back. Ink... I think I'm throwing this to the bottom. Okay. Ready to start? Yep. I'm going to start by playing a hedge maze. That's okay. Really one. Yep. That will stay on top. I will pass the turn. Let's go Burton Catacombs, fetch. Okay. 
Okay, basic forest. Box pearl. Ooh, okay. Malira the Living Cure. Ooh, all right. Pass. Okay. Got one tap. Her. I will play my own bird of catacombs. Okay. I would like to fetch. Sure. To get. Uh, no. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I ever do that? I'm gonna get Taiga. Okay. If I could find it. Thank you. Taiga. I am going to cast a haywire mutt. Sure. I would like to pass. Draw. Like this biophages. Yes. And go to combat. Sure. Attack with Malira. I would like to move to blocks. Sure. And block with Hail Might. Yep. Uh, before damage, I would like to pay a green and sacrifice it to eat your box. Yep. Seems reasonable. Gain two from Hail Might dying. Yep. Second main, I'll play this Arid Mesa and pass to you. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Um. Just going to immediately chain lightning your biophages. Mm. I'll exile Malira targeting my biophages. Sure. So when it dies, it just comes right back? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, going to play Besage You as land for turn. Okay. I'd like to cast Ether Spell Bomb. Okay, yep. And I'll pass. Uh, instead, I will fetch. Sure. Get myself a Lush Portico. Rail one. Uh, I think I'm going to bend this giver of runes. Okay. And tap, draw. Let's play this Nurturing Peatland. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Or a Tree Beard. Tree Beard? Which enters with a counter because of Biophages, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, I make two foods, comes in with a counter. You have oh, one six. Yep. Trample and ward two. Okay. Um, on tap? Yep. Trucker. Whenever you gain life, put that many counters on target halfling or tree foe. Is it true? Yep. I'm going to sacrifice the spell bomb to draw a card. Okay. That's not what I needed. I'm going to tap two and cast Sylvan Scrying. Okay. I am going to get uh, Urza Soccer. Or I would like to play it as land for turn. Okay. Enters with a with the counter. And I'll pass. One tap, keep draw.
Let's cast this wild growth, targeting my basic forest. Sure. Three cards, mate. All think, filler, no filler. Yeah, I think I'm just going to eat my two foods. Okay. Put Let me two. Six counters. Put six counters on Treebeard. Okay. And attack you for seven. I will take seven. Yeah. Go 14. Okay. Tap. No card. This goes to two. Yep. A seven twelve with trample and ward two, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that is, some would say, insurmountable. Yeah. But that's fine. I'm gonna. I believe the scientific term is big. Big, yes. I'm gonna big. bolt your five inches. I'm going to cast a Mox Opal. Okay. I'm going to pass. Tap, draw. Uh, let's start by going to combat. That sounds good. Attack for seven. I have no blocks. Sure. Take seven. <laughs> Go to seven. Oh. Cast this Cathar Commando floating a green. That sounds horrible for me. I'd like to activate it targeting your Urza Saga. I will respond by making a construct. Sure. And Urza Saga is gone. Yep. Let's play this Yapabaya and pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. Okay. I'm not literally dead. But I'm so very close to it. Uh, I'm gonna play Volcanic Island. Okay. I mean, there's only there's only one way out. I gotta draw more cards. I'm gonna cast Deseret, Betrayer of Flesh. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set him to five. Okay. Draw two cards. Yep. I will now discard two cards. Those cards are land, burrow. Okay. I am going to pass the turn. Okay. Draw. Uh, pass this path to exile on your construct. That seems rude, I'll be honest. <laughs> Um, I will concede. Okay. In response, fizzling the path to exile. I'll take the play. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll keep this. Yep, me too. Oh no. Um, Tiger. Yes. Dragon's Rage Champ. Okay. Pass the turn. Play this Lush Portico. Sure. Uh, we can keep that on top. I will cast this Mox Emerald. Nice. Cast this Noble Hierarch. Okay. Pass. On tap. Draw a card. Yes. This is not what I wanted to see. I will play a fetch land. 
Sure. Combat. Attack for one. Uh, yep. Take one. Pass. Untap. Keep. Draw. Play this strip mine. You may. I'd like to strip mine your tiger. You may not. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, pass. I want to fetch on your end step. I'm going to flash on an even mind sensor. Ooh. Okay. I have paid the life. Yeah. I will do the top four cards in my library. Yeah. I'm looking for a speed, an island. Yeah. Did Your not. Planes. Well, I don't have any planes. I did not hit it. Okay. <laughs> Untap. Draw card. Cast. Mishra's Bobble. Trigger Dragon's Reach Sure. Surveil one. That's probably. No. I'm going to thin chain lightning. Okay. Um, this results. I assume. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play Seat of the Synod as land for turn. Okay. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to crack Bobble targeting you. Sure. Uh, reveal top card to you. Okay. I'm going to pass. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. In I'll draw a card. Yep. Draw. Let's talk in this temple garden. Sure. One, two, three, four. Four, and Elevator of the Wild Court. Oh, this guy. Sure. ETB, I will make a virtuous roll attached to my mind sensor. Yes. So that's just so, plus one for each. It's just like ethereal armor? Yeah, it's like ethereal armor. Okay. With no, no keywords. Um, go to combat. Mm -hmm. Attack with mind sensor, exalted trigger. It's a 4-3. I will take four for the fifteen. Okay. Uh, Elevator trigger. I'll draw a card. Yes. Uh, then I will pass. Okay. Untap. Yep. Draw a card. I gotta be honest. I it, it really it really comes down to this. I have. I'm gonna play this burden. Okay. And I'm gonna fetch. And I'm yeah. going to hold. Top four. Uh, rules question. Uh, is is Yabi Maya a forest in your library? No. Awesome. I'm going to fail to find. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to die. Uh, I'm going to pass. Okay. I don't think I'm literally dead next turn, but I'm very close to it. Tap a keep draw. Oh. Underground adventure? <laughs> sure. The initiative, Undercity, find a land. I will find a basic forest. Play it as land for turn. Mm hmm. Go to combat? Yes. Attack with Mind Sensor and Elevator. Elevator trigger. I will put a virtuous roll on the Undermount Adventurer. So I'm getting hit for 8, right? Yes. I will go to 6. Okay. Trigger, I draw a card. Yep. Uh, second main. Play this Finhorn Elves. Mm -hmm. And I will pass. Alright. Big draw step here. It is a castable card, which is better than I can say for any of my other draw steps. Right. Unfortunately, it is a Moonsnare prototype. 
Okay. Yeah. Not fast. No. I I have two. Okay. Do you want to play? <laughs> I do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's a pretty safe assumption usually. Yeah. Hmm. I will keep this. Yep, me too. Okay. Saw. Scalding Tarn into an underground sea. Okay. And fire off. Nope, not that. <laughs> yeah, that's not under that sea. You didn't see anything. <laughs> that Rafine Star was in my hand, but I'm going to Inquisition you. Lots of choices. Oh boy, I do. I do, I do, I do. Green Sun. Okay. Go ahead. Play the slash portico. Yep. Uh, uh, put this land in Arbiter and then. Okay. It's probably okay, but I need lands. <laughs> We'll play that tower. Yeah. And we'll pass after that. Okay. see tower. Uh -huh. Play this Misty and fetch. Okay. Get a Savannah. And play the Luminar Casper. You got it. Combat, put a counter on it. Yep. Uh, Lorien revealed. Sure. <sighs> Rather, for the re record, Island Cycling, Lorien revealed. Yes, 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 I understand. Let's be, let's be specific. I'll get a Tundra. Or, Tundra, Jesus. Wow, I'm really struggling today, huh? It's you okay. can tell I did not get much sleep. Okay. Tropical Island, uh, untap. Sure. Upkeep, draw. It's a four color. Play the island, Tropical Island. Um... Play a Felwar Stone. Okay. Play a Voltaic Servant. Okay, so that's what we're playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Move to end step, untap the Felwar Stone. Go ahead. Yeah. That draw. Uh, okay, I'm going to undo that draw. How do I undo, undo draw? Triumph of St. Catherine. <laughs> yeah? You want to cast it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, play this City of Traders. Sure. Combat. Put a counter on Aspirant. Attack for three. Sure. I will take the three. Yes. That will be my you... turn. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm... I'm... Thinking if there's anything. You're thinking, can you kill me? <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Flooded strand. Yep. Um. Hmm.
Uh, two. What do I, what do I do with two? Could just do that. Doesn't really help me, does it? Okay. Let's tap one, two, three. We're using a white from your mana source. We'll cast a search for glory. Yeah. Uh, why isn't Time Vault legendary? Uh, it's probably for the best that it's not legendary. <laughs> <laughs> We're just joking here. Um, grab that. Probably fine. It's probably good enough. We'll grab an Oswald. Okay. Uh, crack this flooded strand. Grab a white or blue source. We'll grab. Tundra. Now we actually grab the Tundra. <laughs> Cast the Oswald. Uh, move to end step. Yes. Untap Felwar Stone. Go ahead. Okay. Attack. Draw. Cards in hand. Me? Yeah, you have two cards in hand, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. I thought you asked cards in hand, and I'm like, Cyclops, the, the client tells you. <laughs> I'm like, are you yeah. tripping? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, we're going to go like this with quick reflexes, targeting my trap of St. Catherine. I, uh, damn it, split a second, right? Right. Woof, yeah. God, that, the card's so freaking good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yep. Okay. Go to combat. I mean, yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, trigger Aspirant. I'll put a counter on the Catherine. I will sure. attack with both of them. Like, let's a quick reflexes trigger. I will shoot the Voltaic Servant. Sure. So, uh, Voltaic Servant dies. Gain six, go to 25. <sighs> yeah. Um, and I'm looking at nine currently uh yeah yeah we'll do it second main i'll play the big thalia yep yes i would like to swords the thalia okay go ahead okay untap upkeep draw makes this interesting.
Uh, sequencing here is garbage. Um, geez. Can do that or that. Uh, neither of those are amazing options for me here. Um, and that's not the worst. Do I really just do that? I think I might. I'm going to use the Felwar Stone for the Oswald ability and crack it. Yes. Grab an artifact with CMC3. We will grab my only three drop, I think. Cryptic Coat. Okay. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll take the top card of my library and put it. So top of library, play top card face down. I would like to peek at it, peek at card face. Interesting. Uh, to cook card, put on, da, 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 turn it up any time for its mana cost if it's a creature card, right? So then we attach this. I've never played this card on Cocktrace before, so I'm like, no, no worries. Yeah, it's figuring like, out how to do this. So then I attach this. That's kind of clunky. Yeah. Okay. Then play this marsh flats. Mm, yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. Um, let's. Honestly, I think we just return the cryptic coat to my hand. Sure. You're gonna fetch and recast it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Uh, just try to get some blockers so I don't die here. Yeah, yeah no, that's fair. Uh, grab a Taveno, oh, no, no. Yeah, let's recast it. Okay. Move top card, play top card face down. Make this token. What are you? Okay, you are that. Uh, nope, attach you to this. Then attach you to this. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Untap, keep, draw. Let's go to combat. Sure. I will put a counter on the aspirant. Absolutely. And As is your right. Or four and six. And I will block both of them. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll gain another six. This one was a silence, and this one was a spar as headquarters. Okay. Uh, second main, I'll play this scavenger news. Sure. And. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Manifold key? Uh, yep. 
Transmute artifact, my cryptic coat. Practically, eh? Okay. Get the time vault. Yeah. And then you have infinite turns. I do. Go to game two. Okay. Uh, that's frustrating. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 I top decked the transmute artifact. I had the manifold key in hand the entire time, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out. You you destroyed the Voltaic server, it bucked me so much. I was like, because I was going to just sack the manifold key mm -hmm. to Oswald to get Time Vault. Oh, man. That was yes. interesting. At six. Wait till you see what you're doing with your seven? Yeah. Um,. That's so freaking risky. Way too risky. No, I'm pitching it. Okay, I'll go to five. Okay. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, Jesus. It's fine. Um, this would be an awesome five card hand <laughs> how it be sometimes uh yeah. oh i need to pitch one sorry oh yes, I, yes yeah yeah um i wasn't even thinking about it um you i think it's you Goodbye. Okay. All right. Burden catacombs pass. Yep. Let's go. Arid Mesa pass. I will get the Lush Portico. <laughs> the other, the other one. Hush <laughs> Portico. Surveil. Uh, I just don't need that this game. <laughs> Give me that natural order. <laughs> it feels bad. Crickus. Yep. I will do a very similar play. Yeah. You're also going to play Canker Bloom? Oh. <laughs> no. I love these lands. Yes, yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Uh, oh, I, I feel like I have to keep that on top. Yeah, I think I do. My own Crickus, go. Tap, keep draw, go to combat. Yeah. Tap for yep. Uh, oof. Oof. Yes. <laughs> Ancient tomb. Uh, I don't know why I played that. I'm not playing that. I'm not playing the Ancient Tomb. Playing a Misty Rainforest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... are we doing here? Crack it. Sure. Grab a drop. Yep. Yeah. 
three fairy. Okay. Uh, let's bounce your canker bloom. Sure. Draw a card. Go ahead. I will go to combat and attack your Teferi for two. Second main, one swept teeth, fetch. Okay. Savannah. Play this ignoble high arc. Replay the kink. Yep. Yep. Nope. Ancient tomb. Now, Urza. Okay. Um. Uh. Two. Okay. Hausman. Uh, sure. Um. Go ahead. Tap. Keep. Draw. Okay. Uh. Shadow spear. Yep. Oh, I can't use that. Collect roof. That's awkward. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Oof. All, all three plan. Okay, go to combat. Yeah. Attack with Kanker Blue and exalt the trigger. Yeah. I'll take the four. Uh, Unless you have a. No, no, no. I will pass the turn. Okay. Thinking you're. Yeah, go ahead. Averting catacombs. Crack it. I was under the impression okay. that go ahead. this deck played a lot of artifact plants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. What are we... Oh, there it is. I was looking... There we go, Savannah. I would like to uh, blow up your Caracas. Uh, very strange to me. That means that you care about my Caracas. Uh, yeah, I will to white, I guess. Not that it matters. Okay, cool. I'll go get a uh, something with a lamp type. Uh, where, where's the shock land? Brain is not functioning. There we go. Uh, I will okay. pay two life. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would like to tap this talisman for blue. Uh, sure. uh, using Urza. Yes, um, I understand. I would like to Caracas my Urza. Yeah. I would like to recast my Urza. After. Yes. <laughs> that natural word is looking really good. No. <laughs> <laughs> um
I don't want to do that because that's bad. We don't do bad plays, right? Right. Go. <laughs> play Shadow Spear with Ufa to play. Searching Pete Lane cracks draw. Yep, yep. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Was it your Titan? Um, yeah, it's not great. Thinking. Uber just freaking hanging out, watching at the competition. I'm not watching yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to learn what your archetype is. Oh, I was trying to because I'm in the finals, but then this dude's like, nope, everybody knows at that point. And I'm like, all right, well, who gives a shit? And I'm just. <laughs> um, Uber, no doomsday today? I don't know. I mean, no. I literally see you're on white TNT. Yeah, pass. I'm what if sure I lied? <laughs> what if you lied? I feel like the TO would be pretty upset with you but at that the point. The TO's in my pockets. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm passing. Yeah. yeah. I, send him, I send him Robux and pictures of Pikachu. You send him Robux? Is that Jesus what they call it? Christ. Yeah, Robux is a thing, yeah. Let's go! Portable hole? Yeah. Oof. Yes. Uh, I would like to cast this time vault. Sure. Did you lose two life? There you go. Yeah. You never know. Might Simeon Spirit Guide price you or something. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Um, if you have it, you better play it now because I'm going to reshape. Yeah. Yeah, I was sad. So my... my... Four, like I multi four. I had a Kasali Pride Mage in there. Oh wait, you're reshaping. <laughs> you're reshaping, right? Yeah, I'm gonna sack a construct. Sure. Okay. So you can resolve your reshape. Okay. I'm gonna get a key. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got the, I got the canker. You've got the canker bloom, yeah. I'm probably still uh, dying to these constructs anyway, well, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah, cause I grab manifold key and force you to make a decision there. Um, right? Yeah. And you're absolutely correct, though, that I need to... Yeah, I forgot you actually have a answer right now. Yeah. At least for the time being. Yeah. Uh, I think we both forgot. <laughs> yes, yeah, I forgot for a second too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reshape. Uh reshape for do I wanna still do one? Is there any reason to do it for more? Get that. Uh, uh, cryptic code again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing did work. Um, yep. I think we do. Just yeah, we're just we're just gonna do that. We'll sacrifice this talisman. Uh, and yeah, we'll grab a so you we'll grab a manifold key. One two. Actually. So wait, you paid one, oh, two, we three. Grab? I think you need to pay another mana if you want to get a mana full key. Right? X equals one? Well, you, you did Savannah for Portable Hole, Ancient Tomb for Time yeah. Vault, and then one, yeah. two. And I tapped is... the... I tapped, no, I tapped the Talisman as well for mana. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yes, you're right. Okay. Yeah, 
I was like, what? <laughs> why are you gaslighting me? <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. Um, well, see, now there's an interesting thing. I, 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 oh, I think I just crab. No, I have to force you to, to answer something. So yeah, we'll we'll grab uh manifold key. Sure. Okay. Um Go to combat. Yes. Attack you with a big boy. Five. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, five. Yeah. Taking five. Thirteen. Okay. I will move to end step. Sure. On tap. Five five. That's annoying. Um... The mightiest thing noble hierarchy you've ever seen. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Interesting. Yep. I will pass. <laughs> sure. I love how we're just playing. We're we're just uh, stack bullying each other here. Yeah. Draw. Okay. Um. Let's play Scrubland. I'm going to make uh, one of these constructs unblockable. Uh, sure. Okay. Go to combat. Yeah. Attack with the... Uh, yeah, attack with the unblockable construct. Okay, I take five. Down to eight. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, end step. Uh... Let's go to my turn. Okay. Untap, keep, draw. Uh, we will use the canker bloom to blow up your manifold key. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll play this land where else. Okay. And I will pass the turn. Okay. I would like to were for one. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, you got it now. <laughs> okay, okay. So I went 2-1 today, which is pretty good. Uh, I played against a lot of Vault. My first match, I... I'm trying to remember what happened in that first match. It was so fast. Um... I had a really early Sentinel game one into uh, Boromir, and I was just like, I think I killed him on turn four, which was kind of crazy, and his hand was not super fast. Then game two, I couldn't quite get there, and then game three, I just had the lock of Collector Oof plus uh, Kanker Bloom. Uh, I've got a lot of anti, I've got a lot of anti artifact stuff right now because Vault is really popular. I've got Kanker Bloom, Cathar Commando, because I like Prime Mage, Collector Oof. So, you know, my matchup is definitely, I'm definitely tuned for that matchup. Uh, that second match, not really sure what happened with my opponent's deck. It seemed like it just didn't 
quite get off the ground. And uh, the mind sensor really put in a lot of work, just completely uh, removing my opponent's ability to get any resources. It turns out that uh, people... So when you play blue, people play around stifle by fetching or, you know, thought fetching, whatever. They, they know how to play around stifle sometimes. When you're playing black, your opponents know how to play around op agent. But mind sensor has seen so little play recently that people just don't even think about it. And so, you know, when my opponent basically let me, uh, I got lucky with drawing like land destruction, but you know, I strip mine their land and then they go to fetch and I tag that with the mind sensor. Uh, it's just kind of brutal setting my opponent that far behind on resources. And then that third match, it's a little irritating because I didn't know that Dan was on vault. And so I kept kind of a bad hand uh, in terms of like fighting vault specifically uh, that first game. And I almost got there anyway. Cryptic Coat made two blockers, which is what Cryptic Coat does. So I'm not bad about that, but it did hit two useless cards, which is annoying. And then he drew, you know, basically exactly, he basically needed to draw a tutor that exact turn or else he would lose. And he drew a turn, tutor that exact turn and he won. So that's a little frustrating. And then my second game there, I mulled to four because I was, you know, I needed, I knew I needed something to uh, really fight against Vault. You know, ideally it was Collector Oof, but I'd look for anything. Because my first hand was kind of anemic. My second hand had... Uh, I didn't really have much. My, my third hand had no lands in it, so you know that obviously was no, no good. Uh, it would have been really nice if I could have kept five, because I had Kasali Pride Mage, Canker Bloom, and Oof. But unfortunately I had to pick two out of three. So I picked the Canker Bloom and the, uh, the Oof. And I did have some decisions I could have made. Like, I, I binned Natural Order off of my Surveil land because I only had two lands at the time and didn't want to sack either of my creatures. But there's a real argument to be made that when I'm all to four, I should just keep Natural Order um, because eventually I'll get to cast it and it's kind of the way that I'm going to get back into the game because it'll eventually uh, it'll give me something huge or it'll get torched and draw me a lot of cards um, to undo my mulligan. You know, there's something to be said for when you're that far down on cards, you need to you just need high impact cards, um, even if they're not castable right away. But, you know, it's, uh, I'm not sure if I would have won anyway, because I'm losing to those construct beats from Urza. Um, and I just didn't really have the cards to make up for it. We didn't really see Natural Order today. I did have one for fun game against Ghost of Kings, where I Natural Ordered into Torsten, into Torsten and it drew me six cards, which is, uh, really good. But, yeah, I, I felt the deck was really good. Uh, I didn't really miss Mana Crypt. Turns out that, you know, keeping a stable mana base and having the disruption with Strip Mine and Wasteland is still good. And you don't need the Mana Crypt to go fast uh, when your goal of your deck is to be a little bit slower and more disruptive. So, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm not going to give this a huge thumbs up and say that this is the best way to build Green White Monsters, but I think that it's, uh, you know, good enough and I'm probably going to keep testing it because the Natural Order plan really gives it a sort of different... A different axis that it can fight on. So that was Green White Natural Order Monsters. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the Green White Monsters gameplay. For more gameplay videos, check out the playlist on the left. And for some long form theory content, check out the playlist on the right. Thanks again for watching the video. Have a great day. See you next time.